Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Salon Perfect Don't Give a Glam, and here are the products I'll be using today. I'm going to start off with that Pro FX Sticky Base Coat, and then here is the holographic finish from Salon Perfect called Don't Give a Glam. I've topped it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat, and I'll be using the Yellow Stopper to help my stamping stick. And here's Nicole Diaries NS04, the silver polish, and my little rectangular stamper and scraper. L020 is the stamping plate I'll be using today. I've got my base cut already down, and now we're going to go in with this beautiful holographic polish. Now, this looks a little more black on screen, but in real life, it had this, I don't know, kind of a black brownish black charcoal dark charcoal look to it very unusual very hard to describe but i do like it the holographic on this is really good and for it being a walmart polish I, i'm i'm pretty impressed so there is our first coat and it could totally be a one coater but say it with me well hi woody i'm a ninny so i'm gonna have to do two <laughs> And here we're going to go in with that Ninny second coat and just, you know, smooth it all out, build it up, you know, play with it. So there we go with our two coats and we're going to slap on a top coat and this is that Pro FX uh, quick dry top coat. I do really like it. I'm getting used to how to load up the brush because it's got that long stem so you've got you know, you've got to learn how to do that one. Now let's gonna do some stamping now. I was just really in a paisley mood and I really do think that this one worked out really well. So I've got that same image on my thumb that I'm gonna put on my middle and ring finger. It's that center design right there. And I really love it. I just think it's so cool. And then I'm gonna put a little um, you know, just a single paisley on my pointer finger and my pinky finger today. So I am off camera kind of, but I'm using a little piece of tape to get up the excess design that I don't want transferring to my nail. Just going around that stamper very carefully and picking up, you know, those little bits and pieces. But I really, really do like this one. And I'm telling you, if you see these Salon Perfect Hollows in the store, they're worth grabbing. I mean, you know, I don't make commission off Salon Perfect or any other polish for that matter. So, but I am giving you my honest opinion. I do think that these are worth what, you know, what you get for them. And I think it's really cool that you can get them at Walmart. <laughs> so there we are getting the you know, excess design off of the stamper again, but again, off, off frame, you know, having me a moment. And we're plopping this one on that little pinky nail. You can see the hollow on that. I mean, it's just crazy. So this is a little blurry, but I did want to show you that I did get the Nicole Diary up with mostly the sticky tape, you know, but I am going to go in with my new Sonia Kushak's cleanup brush. It's not as good as my other one, but, you know, it's going to be my backup. I had to give it a road test real quick to make sure I'm going to like it. And I'm topping this one off with the Pro FX. I did let that stamping dry really well before using it, and it worked great. Here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.